Hello, Sid Roth here. Welcome to my world where it's naturally supernatural. I'm going to teach tonight Revelation about the end times from the book in the Bible that explains what is going on and what is about ready to happen in the last days. And I'm going to give you a hint. It's not the book of Revelation. Is there a supernatural dimension, a world beyond the one we know? Is there life after death? Do angels exist? Can our dreams contain messages from heaven? Can we tap into ancient secrets of the supernatural? Are healing miracles real? Sid Roth has spent over 35 years researching the strange world of the supernatural. Join Sid for this edition of It's Supernatural. I know that I'm going to surprise a lot of you, but the, the end time book to the church is not the book of Revelation. And when I teach from this particular book, more healings take place than when I did a message on healings. I know it blows your mind, but it's so significant to where we are in history. It's just so amazing to me, the revelation that God has given me from the end time book to the church, the book of Esther. You know what? We Jewish people do exactly what you did. When we talk during Purim, we talk about the book of Esther, and when Esther's name is mentioned, Everyone says, ah. <laughs> well, we Jewish people normally have two names to protect the end. No, I'm just teasing. <laughs> we normally have two names. We have a Hebrew name. My Hebrew name from Israel just happens to be Israel. And we have a name from the country we have immigrated to. So my name from America is Sydney. Esther was the same way. Esther was not her original name. Her original name, one of the nicest hospitals in Israel, was named after Hadassah. The Hadassah Hospital is named after Queen Esther because Esther wasn't her Hebrew name. Uh, Hadassah means a myrtle with a beautiful fragrance. But when you go to another country, you take their name. The per this was the Persian name, which I'll give you a hint, is really Iran. And her Persian name was Esther, which came from Ishtar, which was the fertility goddess. So in effect, you could say the queen of the land was dressed in a pagan Oh, No one knew she was Jewish. It was hidden. Now, the very interesting thing in Esther. Esther, when translated into Hebrew, it's not Hadassah. It's a Hebrew word, and this is what the Hebrew word means. Hidden. There are mysteries hidden in the book of Esther. I believe that Esther is a magnificent type of the Gentile church. Why do I say that? First of all, the first thing Esther did is she had pagan clothes on. No one knew she was connected to the Jewish people. No one knew it. Second, Esther was beautiful. And whether you know it or not, you look at that little pimple there or a little bag under here, you know, and you look in the mirror, you know the routine. In God's sight, Esther, church, you are beautiful. Esther was a virgin. 
Though your sins be as scarlet, Esther, they shall be as white as snow. And in God's sight, Esther, you could have been the biggest prostitute in town. But once you accepted what the Messiah of Israel did for you, God says, according to the Jewish prophet Jeremiah, I, God, Esther, remember your sins no more. They're not just covered as we did in the temple days in the old covenant. But God says it's a better covenant with a better promise. I won't just forgive you. I'll take a giant eraser. It no longer exists. Amen. Esther was young. I want you to know, in eternity, there's no time. Stop being so conscious, earthly time. Be more heavenly minded. Amen. Esther had a call, an assignment before Almighty God. Her assignment was she was the only one that could go to the king on behalf of the Jewish people. Esther had a key to hearing God's voice. Church, I want you to have a key to hearing God's voice. It's a supernatural key. Esther soaked in oil of myrrh and in perfume for a year. Did you know the myrrh plant, when it's crushed, it's bitter on the outside, but when it's crushed, it is sweet on the inside. So Esther, you have been crushed for a while, but guess what? Tears come for an evening, but joy comes in the morning. It's sort of like the five virgins and the five foolish, the wise what? They had plenty of oil. In the book of Esther, Esther 1.8, the people were told, you can drink as much as you want. You can be as filled with the Spirit as you desire. You can be as filled with God as you want to. It's not special people. It's a special God that people hunger and thirst for. So that it's up to you how much you're going to soak, Esther. Because the king said in Esther 1.8, there are no limits to the amount that you can drink. When I come back, I'm going to tell you something that has been the most misunderstood term, I think, since Jesus said it. The fullness of the Gentiles. And if I had a non-Jewish background, was grafted into royalty like Esther was, from a no people became queen of the land, I would like to know what the fullness of the Gentiles is. Would you? Yes. We'll be right back to It's Supernatural. Sid Roth had a dream where Jesus appeared before him and proclaimed three times, I'm coming back soon. Based on this dream, Sid gathered 12 leading experts and prophetic voices to reveal about the end times and unveil vital revelation. Call now and get Sid Roth's prophetic book, Sooner Than You Think, plus Sid's powerful audio CD mentoring message, Esther, the end time book to the church, plus this special Psalm 91 bookmark, yours for a donation of $25 or get two sets for $50. Keep one and give the other away to your pastor, your loved ones, or friends. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9300. Through this 271-page book, Sooner Than You Think, you'll understand more clearly the end time prophecy, the rapture, the book of Revelation, current events foretold in the Bible, how to prosper in the last days, and much more. Learn the answers to these questions and so many more. Will the rapture occur before the Great Tribulation or after? How will we know when the Antichrist is coming into power? What is the mark of the beast and how will people receive it? Are sightings of UFOs and extraterrestrials part of Satan's deceptive signs and lying one what is the prophetic significance of the Jewish feasts? What will happen to America if it turns its back on Israel? How can you and your loved ones be ready for the end time events about to happen on planet Earth? You will also receive Sid Roth's powerful audio CD mentoring message, Esther, the end time book to the church. Discover the amazing parallels between Esther and you, the end time church. Understand why you are a modern
modern day Esther, brought into the kingdom for such a time as this. Get ready as Sid prays over you an impartation of the end time Esther anointing. Plus, as an added blessing, you will receive this special bookmark with Psalm 91. Don't miss out on getting Sid Roth's prophetic book sooner than you think. Plus, Sid's powerful audio CD mentoring message, Esther, the end time book to the church. Plus, this special Psalm 91 bookmark, the end time psalm to the church for supernatural protection. Yours for a donation of $25 or get two sets for $50. Keep one and give the other away to your pastor, your loved ones, or friends. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9300. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9300 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. We now return to It's Supernatural. Now, my Orthodox Jewish father was almost like a forerunner of about what is ready to happen in the world because a week before he went to heaven and there was no way he was going to go to heaven, I read every passage possible to prove to him Jesus was Messiah. The presence of God just came all over me, but not just for an hour, not just for two hours, not just for 12 hours, 24 hours for seven days in a row. And I got called to the hospital and I tell you before God and the angels of heaven, my father, no way with this Orthodox Jewish background, was going to receive Messiah. But it's not by man's might. It's not by man's power. But it's by my spirit, saith the Lord. And that's what's about ready to happen. There's going to be such an outpouring of God's spirit on Jewish people. But there is a mystery. It's called the fullness of the Gentiles. And most of us think the fullness means when the first Gentile receives the Messiah to the last one. No. Because if you look up the word fullness in the Greek, do you know what it means? Maturity. When the Gentiles are mature, this is, it's used two times in the New Testament. Luke 21, 24 says, and they, that's the Jewish people, will fall by the edge of the sword and be led away captive into all nations. That's what happened to us. And Jerusalem will be trampled by the Gentiles. That's what happened. Until the times of the Gentiles are fulfilled. So when you see Jerusalem in Jewish possession, what is the Messiah telling us? The times of the Gentiles are fulfilled. It's time for you, Esther, to get mature. Okay? The second place that it's mentioned is the Romans 11.25. See, you have to understand, we Jewish people are under a judgment. And as a result, Deuteronomy 28 tells us about it. We were scattered to the four corners of the earth, and wherever we would go, we would be persecuted. But one day, there would be, a nation would be formed in one day, the prophet Isaiah says, and the Jews would be maintained as a distinct people and would be regathered to their homeland. Well, you and I have lived for that. Now, Romans 11:25 is the second place it's mentioned. For I do not desire, brethren, that you should be ignorant in this mystery. Look, Esther, stop being ignorant. That's what God's basically telling you right here. Lest you should be wise in your own opinion, that blindness in part has happened to Israel, in part meaning some Jewish people know the Messiah, but Others do not, do not, until, listen to this, the fullness of the Gentiles or the maturity of the Gentiles has come in. Some Gentile believers are mature and some are babies. I'm going to tell you something. When the spiritual scales are off with the eyes of Jewish people. That means it's the fullness of the Gentiles. That means you can and should become mature. What is the major reason? The devil, and that's who it is, is trying to prevent Jewish people from coming to know the Messiah. There is a major reason.
Isaiah 27, 6 says, the time is coming when Jacob's descendants will take root. Israel will bud and blossom. In other words, the Jews will be back in the land of Israel. Are you with me? And fill the whole earth with fruit. When these Jewish people come to the Messiah, it'll be the devil's worst nightmare. These Jewish people are going to be modern day Paul the Apostle. These Jewish people are going to turn the world upside down. Now, many people have give money to humanitarian aid for Jewish people in Israel, and rightfully so, rightfully so. Many people have blessed Israel meetings, and boy, do we need that, and rightfully so. Many people have prayer meetings for Israel, and rightfully so. But Suzette Hatting, who was the lead intercessor for the Reinhard Bunke meeting, I know, I I went to some of his meetings in Africa. This is what she said. Prayer without evangelism is like an arrow shot nowhere. Like an arrow shot nowhere. There is an anointing on Jewish people, whether we know it or not, because the gifts and calling of God are without repentance. And you look at the high percentage of Jews that have Nobel Prizes, that the, the, the technology coming out of Israel, and the fact that we even survived, the, the, the computer industry is booming in Israel. Some of the greatest inventions the world has ever seen are coming from Israel. So. If their fall is riches for the world and their failure riches for the Gentiles, Gentiles were grafted in, how much more their fullness? You know, it says if it was a blessing, the Jewish people rejected their Messiah so Gentiles could be grafted in, how much greater blessing when they receive their Messiah? It will be life from the dead. You're going to see morgues cleared out. You're going to see the resurrection of the dead. You're going to see the same miracles Jesus did and even greater. When I come back, this is a sad story in the book of Esther. Once the king seals an order with his ring, it cannot be changed no matter what. Once Iran, which by the way, the book of Esther took place in, once Iran has the nuclear bomb, nothing can stop them unless there is something higher. And there is. And I'm going to talk about it when I come back. We'll be right back to It's Supernatural. If you love watching our It's Supernatural TV program, you can now watch hundreds of archive programs online. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, on your computer, your smartphone, your iPad, or your favorite tablet. ISN will be the vehicle to equip you to being normal. Normal as defined by the Bible. Just log on to SidRoth.org forward slash ISN. We now return to It's Supernatural. Uh, You know what I've always wondered? Uh, The Muslims say they have a God, and they call him Allah. Uh, The uh, Christians say they have a God. The Jewish people say they have a God. There's not three gods. This is what the Torah says. There is one God, and do you know what his name is forever? The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Forever. You remember what God says. Now, How can there be a Messiah for the Muslims, a Messiah for the Christians, a Messiah for the Jews? All three have their theology of Messiah. No, there's only one God. As a Jew, I say, Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. And there's only one Messiah. The Jew, Yeshua. Sounds good. Yeshua, the Jew, Yeshua. Now, We need a higher law for Iran and the nuke. We need a higher law for Persia, which is the old name of Iran, where the book of Esther was taken. Shortly, all the Jews were going to be murdered. The king could not change his edict. The seal was on it. Ha ha. Too late, king. 
there's a higher law because the book of Esther says in Esther 9, 5, that the Jews were equipped with the sword. The law wasn't changed, but the Jews were equipped with the sword. Do you know what the sword is a type of? The word of the living God. And when you equip Jewish people with the sword, the law of evangelism comes into play. What is the law of evangelism? Romans 116. I'm not ashamed of the gospel because the gospel is the power of God unto salvation to the Jew first. When you go to the Jew first, the same thing that happened in Persia will happen in the world. This is what happened in Persia. Esther 817. And many of the people of the land, remember the only way to know God was to be Jewish back then. And many of the people of the land became Jews. Revival broke out among the Gentiles when the Jewish people were saved, were spared. Amos 9.13 talks about the restoration of the tabernacle of David. The word tabernacle in the Hebrew is translated house or family. So the restoration of the family of David. Who is the family of David? The Jewish people. God says, when the Jewish people are restored to him, you see, we're at the fullness of the Gentiles. That curse is over of blindness on the eyes of Jewish people. Amos 9.13 says, the time will come, says the Lord, when the grain and grapes will grow faster than they can be harvested. It's never been like that before. They will be standing in lines, Gentiles, when the Jewish people become who we are created to be. The word Jew comes from the Hebrew word Yehuda, which means a worshiper of God. Why is the anti-Semitism so strong in the world right now? It's strong because the devil knows his worst nightmare is when Jewish people walk into our destiny. He's trying to kill every Jew that he can, the devil. I just read the Baltics are rewriting history, proclaiming Hitler was a great man. The pro-Russian general uh, from Ukraine, the headline of the newspaper said, Ukraine run by miserable Jews. England, the headline said, we're leaving Britain. Jews aren't safe here. Europe right now is worse than it was just before Hitler took over. Netanyahu said the only safe place for a European Jew is Israel. Haman's wife understood the Jew. This is what she said in Esther 6.13. Since Mordecai, this man who has humiliated you, is of Jewish birth, you will never succeed in your plans against him. It'll be fatal. And I say to everyone that hates the Jew, It is fatal. A friend of mine saw, heard a report from a man uh, that was a child during the Holocaust in Germany. And in church every Sunday at a certain time, they would be singing and a train would go by. And he would hear wailing and moaning. It was loaded with Jews going to the gas chamber. And you know what the pastor said? Sing a little louder. Don't listen to that. Well, I've seen another train. The train I have seen is the Jewish Express. It's loaded with Jewish people, with lachaim, with life, with the life of God within them. The tracks are being laid right now. The tracks are going all over the world. And Jewish people, as the fullness of the Gentiles, as Gentiles get mature in the Messiah, as Esther stands up, Esther, I say this to you. I say, if you keep quiet at a time like this, deliverance and relief for the Jews will arise from some other place. But you and your relatives will die. Who knows if perhaps you have made, been made queen for such a time as this. Esther, there is graffiti in the Arab areas of Israel. It says, first we go after the Saturday people, then we go after the Sunday people. Except our God. I tell you the greatest move of God's Spirit is about ready to hit this earth. Are you going to be part of it, Esther? Stand up, Esther. Stand up for the Jewish people right now. Stand up for the Jewish people. Stand up at home. Stand up. Let God know that you have reached maturity. 
Sid Roth had a dream where Jesus appeared before him and proclaimed three times, I'm coming back soon. Based on this dream, Sid gathered 12 leading experts in prophetic voices to reveal about the end times and unveil vital revelation. Call now and get Sid Roth's prophetic book, Sooner Than You Think, plus Sid's powerful audio CD mentoring message, Esther, the end time book to the church, plus this special Psalm 91 bookmark, yours for a donation of $25 or get two sets for $50. Keep one and give the other away to your pastor, your loved ones, or friends. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9300. I have some of the best end time teachers assembled anywhere in this book. Uh, let me just tell you a few of them. Bill Salas, he talks about the future of America and the next end time war. It's about ready to happen now. Then Perry Stone talks about the mystery of the biblical feasts and how they're connected to understanding the last days. And then Jim Richards talks about how to prosper in the last days because it's my belief and it's God's belief uh, that the, the wealth of the sinner is stored up for the righteous. Through this 271 page book, Sooner Than You Think, you'll understand more clearly the end time prophecy, the rapture, the book of Revelation, current events foretold in the Bible, how to prosper in the last days, and much more. Learn the answers to these questions and so many more. Will the rapture occur before the Great Tribulation or after? How will we know when the Antichrist is coming into power? What is the mark of the beast and how will people receive it? Are sightings of UFOs? and extraterrestrials part of Satan's deceptive signs and lying wonders? What is the prophetic significance of the Jewish feasts? What will happen to America if it turns its back on Israel? How can you and your loved ones be ready for the end time events about to happen on planet Earth? You will also receive Sid Roth's powerful audio CD mentoring message, Esther, the end time book to the church. Discover the amazing parallels between Esther and you, the end time church. Understand why you are a modern day Esther brought into the kingdom for such a time as this. Get ready as Sid prays over you an impartation of the end time Esther anointing. Plus, as an added blessing, you will receive this special bookmark with Psalm 91, the end time Psalm to the church for supernatural protection. When you have this package, you have all the ingredients for the Holy Spirit to put together as the end times unfold, and they're unfolding quickly. Don't miss out on getting Sid Roth's prophetic book, Sooner Than You Think, plus Sid's powerful audio CD mentoring message, Esther, the end time book to the church, plus this special Psalm 91 bookmark, the end time Psalm to the church for supernatural protection. Yours for a donation of $25 or get two sets for $50. Keep one and give the other away to your pastor, your loved ones, or friends. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9300. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth, it's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9300 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. Next week on It's Supernatural, my guest had a baptism of love. This love leaks out of him wherever he goes. It almost becomes atmospheric. He has spoken to over one million Muslims that have had experiences with Jesus. Your gifts to this ministry will help Sid air It's Supernatural in Israel 28 times a week and distribute his evangelistic book to the Jewish people worldwide. 